What's up, yo? Hope you're all enjoying clean week as much as I am. I'm going to uh, attempt to make an omelet one-handed, right? I don't know if it's going to turn out as well because normally I use two hands to do everything. So we're going to try it. And if not, hey, it still becomes scrambled eggs, right? So let me flip that real quick. We got some sauteed peppers and onions and a little bit of spinach. I got my pan coated with some nonstick spray. I got the heat on high, right? I got my eggs right here. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be very tricky. I'm gonna pour this right in here, right? Boom, boom. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna show you my, my little secret. All right, I'm gonna let that sit in there for a minute. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna turn the heat down low. I'm gonna let it cook. And when it cooks, it should slide, right? So then I could just flip it over, put my vegetables inside of it, and then flip it back. Or you could add your veggies right now, but that takes two hands and I can't do that. So I'm gonna let this cook on low until it's nice and firm, and then I'll flip it over to cook the other side. And then after that's done, I'm my veggies. And look, I'm not gonna lie to you guys because I'm craving, I am craving bacon. I've been having turkey burgers and these buffalo wings, but I'm craving bacon. So I'm not going to deny myself, well, I'm going to deny myself bacon, bacon, but I have turkey bacon, right? So I'm going to eat the turkey with my, my eggs this morning. Well, here we go. So you see how that's starting to firm up? Oh, so see how it's starting to firm up? I'm going to firm that up a little bit more. And because I put the nonstick spray, it should coat. Come right out and I can flip it right over. But that's it. And then worst case scenario, if, if it messes up, you got scrambled eggs and you can just add your veggies to it. So that being said, I'll take a picture after I'm done because this really does take two hands. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe I could put you that. What's up, Emily? Wow. Attempting to make um see nothing over here. Well, listen. What's up? How's your day going? All right, maybe. Just maybe. Um, yeah, buddy. So I just want to come around the sides of the egg just to loosen it up, All right? Mm -hmm. I'm starving. I was going to go work out, but I'm starting to get moody. I'm one of these guys that if I don't eat, I get real moody. You guys can't see nothing I'm doing, can you? I'll pop that hole. Right. Put that back over there. Let it cook a little bit longer. I did is I just went around the side with the spatula, loosened it up from the bottom, and then I took the runniness and I went around like this with the pan, so we just cover the whole thing again, so when I flip it, it'll be easy, and then I'll put that in there, and I'll have a side of turkey bacon, because you all know, craving bacon, I know it's only seven days, and I know turkey bacon isn't on the meal plan for Megan, but this is a clean week, turkey bacon is cleaner than bacon bacon. Now, I'm all about moderation, portion, portion control. If you look in Fixate, if you're on Beach Body On Demand, you'll check out Fixate. It's a cooking show. You'll find a ton of recipes, and a lot of those recipes call for turkey bacon. So I'm going to substitute my turkey bacon. I also use the color-coded containers, which is the green ones for veggies. That's how I get my veggies. That's not a concern during Clean Week. It's not, so don't, don't worry about it. Um, but if you do do Fixate, or any other Beachbody programs, you're gonna find out that the color coded containers are lifesavers. They really are. So let me see that. See that? That's how it's supposed to work. I gotta flip that. I'm gonna put that here. I gotta flip it. Isn't that calls for the bigger spatula, which I don't know what I do with. Thank you. 
find out my wife's hair. Y'all see this? I'm going to keep it real with you. That's my wife. You can't. Yeah, you see that. That's my wife's hair in my egg. Keep it real with you. If it wasn't my wife, I wouldn't be eating this egg. I was thinking about a boom. I just flipped it. Or y'all didn't see. I flipped it. Now I'm going to add my veggies. Whoa, can't, can't, can't do that. <laughs> I don't want to drop my phone. Crispy tree testing your boy today. I told her I'm not gonna eat them. That's it. I'm done. I can't. Alright, so I'm gonna just do it one handed. Egg. I'm gonna take my spinach, right? I'm gonna lay that in there, like so. My spinach, right? Boom, boom, boom. boom. This is probably the two hands for, but oh well. We'll make the best with one hand. I'm gonna add this in there. Now, if you're going to put cheese, you put cheese right in there, too. But I ain't going to add no cheese. No cheese today. Combine two hands. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to spread that out like so. And we're going to just flip this side. I need to do this last one. Right? Up and over. Boom. Look at that. There's your omelet. And all this excess egg, I'm gonna eat. And we're just gonna slide it over to the middle, right? By the bing, by the boom, now we gotta plate it. Mm-hmm, you like that, right? Easy way to make the omelet. Easy way. I ain't talking about, I ain't no professional chef, but I make things look good, and I like to do things easy, so. Hold on, real quick. Table without a problem. I'm gonna take my omelet right here. Chicken part's getting out of the plate. Take the rest of the little peppers, put them on top. Onions. Bada bing, bada boom. Turkey bacon, some craving bacon. Gonna have to do your fork and a knife. <laughs> you boys in business. I don't know. Man. I get real happy when it comes to food, y'all. I get real happy. Look. So there's my omelet with my vegetables inside and my turkey bacon. So I'm gonna eat this right now and then I'm gonna go work out. A piece of onion. So I got red red peppers, red onion, spinach, and my omelet and turkey bacon. Enjoy, Coach. I'll make it will make you feel great. Yes, yes, yes. Good choice for breakfast. I thank you very much, Emory. Because when you feel under the weather, you get some food in you. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but I get real moody when I don't eat. And if I try to work out right now, I know. I know I'm supposed to be working out. At the intermittent fasting, I'm supposed to be working out on an empty stomach so it burns more calories. But I can't just work out and start screaming at Megan, being real moody. So I have to eat. And then I'll let this settle in a little bit. And then I'll go push play and do my workout. What time is it? 9.30? No, 8.30. 9.30. Jeez, that's how I'm going by quick. You know what so happens when I wake up late? I wake up late, slept in, threw off my whole day. But it is what it is. You got to eat. Definitely. All right, Emory, I'll message you a little bit later. I'm going to eat this now. I got to take a picture and then post it up on Instagram. All right? Peace.